Come and fill this place Oh, come and fill this place Oh, come and fill this place mercy 
at this time, we're going to go into a time of meditating on the Word of God. Instead of opening up your Bibles uh, and to read, um, I want to encourage you to just close your eyes and hear the Word of God and let the Word speak to you. We'll be reading from Isaiah 43, verse 19. Hear the Word of God. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Thus says the Lord, Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. everyone to close your eyes and hear what the Lord is saying through these words and allow the Word of God to speak to you thus says the Lord behold I am doing a new thing now it springs forth do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Thus says the Lord, Behold, I am doing a new thing. says the Lord, Behold, I am doing a new thing. I 
I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth, do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. doing a new thing. I am doing a new thing. thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth, do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Still my heart before 
doing a new thing in us, God, in our hearts, in our minds, our spirit. Uh, we're being completely renewed, God. And we thank you, Lord, that there is uh, 
just immense love that you're pouring out, Father, this morning upon us. And Lord, we love you. And we want to stay in this place of receiving and simply responding to all that you pour out upon us this morning, God. We love you, Jesus. Now we're going to um, go into a time of singing in the Word of God. I want to invite you to open up your Bibles to Isaiah 43. Isaiah 43, we will be uh, singing through verse 16 uh, to 19. Verse 16 to 17. Thus says the Lord, who makes a way in the sea, a path in the mighty waters, who brings forth chariot and horse, army and warrior. They lie down, they cannot rise. They are extinguished, quenched like a wick. Father, we come before you this morning and we remember what you've done for Israel. We've heard, you've heard their cry, sent a deliverer, brought them out of Egypt, parted the sea and led them to the promised land. Lord, we see that this is what you have been doing and what you want to do to this day. No matter how fearsome and intimidating the enemy may be, we will not be shaken. For you are our protector, the banner over us. You lead us to see you and know you as our savior. And you have shown yourself to be faithful. But we declare that you are our deliverer. You are our savior. You are making a way in the sea, a path in the mighty waters, extinguishing the works of the enemy, destroying the works uh, so that your people can be set free and enter into the promised land. God, you are mighty. There is no one like you.
shall not be overcome your light your light shatters everything so i make my way in the light i stay in the light all the time i stay in your light i stay in your light god i walk every step forward in the light staying in the light moving on Step, I'm moving onward where your light is shine. Step by step, I'm moving onward where your light is shining. Step by step, I'm moving onward where your light is shining. Step by step, I'm moving onward where your light is shining. Step by step, I'm moving onward where your light is shining. Step by step, I'm moving onward where your light is shining. Step by step, I'm moving onward where your light is shining. Step by step, I'm moving onward where your light is shining. Step by step, I'm moving Step, I'm moving onward where your light is shining. Step by step, I'm moving onward where your light is shining. Step by step, I'm moving onward where your light is shining. So I need not worry that I can't see in front of me. righteousness every time you're opening up a path for me in the mighty water where there seems to be no way you open a path faithfully you make a way for me you make a way for me where there seems to be no way you make a way where there seems to be no seems to be no way you make a way where there seems to be no way where there seems to be no way you make a way where there seems to be no way where there seems to be no way you make a way where there seems to be no way where there seems to be no way you make a way where there seems to be no way God, with you we are never lost. Where there seems to be no way, you make a way, a straight path for us, God. We read from Isaiah 43, verse 18. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Father, we thank you for this new day marked with new mercies and grace. We hear you say these very words over us today, and we respond in faith and step into this day with thanksgiving. Jesus, we fix our eyes on you. We fix our gaze on the one who's pouring out his spirit over us today. We do not dwell in the mistakes and shortcomings of our past, of yesterday, but we set ourselves fully immersed in the grace and the love of Christ. We declare that the enemy's got nothing on us. We thank you for giving us a clear understanding of our past, 
what we ought to make of it, and for turning all things for our good, for you are faithful, God. Move us, God, to live fully in the new grace you've given us today. Move our hearts to respond to this grace. Oh, I refuse to stay in yesterday's grace. I'm stepping in.
get to have is you Lord and we thank you that you take us to a place where we can move forward thank you Lord Isaiah 43 verse 19 behold I am doing a new thing 
Now it springs forth, do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Father, we ask that you open up our eyes to see what you are doing, how you're moving in our lives right now. We don't want to miss out on anything that you do and say. God, we command the eyes and ears of our hearts to be open in Jesus' name. All blind eyes be opened and perceive the things that you are doing in our hearts in the midst of us, even at this very moment. We lay down all frustrations, unbelief, and bitterness towards you. We repent and turn away from these ways and commit ourselves to be open to you and in tune with the Holy Spirit. God, we lift up um, this morning to you, God, this day to you, and we declare that you are doing a new thing and making a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. All closed doors and pathways be opened in Jesus' name. And we want to be ready for the mighty living waters of God to be poured out. Lord, we prophesy right now that today we will experience the mighty surge of your spirit moving in every area of our lives. Jesus, we trust that you have so much more. You have so much more, so we let go of every bitterness we let go of every sense of disappointment every sense of frustration for we know that all these things will blind us to what you are doing in us today we refuse to miss out we refuse to miss out Presence. 
We thank you that you are encouraging us, strengthening us on this day to move forward in all that we long to see, all that we long to see fulfilled in our lives, God. And Lord, we say that all we need is you, Father. Uh, we thank you, Father, that you call us your own. You call us your children, God, and we truly lack nothing in you, God. So Lord, we want to fix our gaze on who you are. And we want to really take deep into our hearts this truth, God, that we are yours and we lack nothing. And all we need is you, Father. Open up our eyes, Lord, to perceive things rightly in the way that you do. Guide us today, Holy Spirit. We pray all these things in your name, Jesus.
your praises. All the people will sing your praises. All the people will sing your praises. Glory to the Lamb of God. All the people will sing your praises. All the people will sing your praises. All the people will sing your praises.
topics uh, in prayer. And after I make uh, intercession, you can um, uh, follow with your own intercession afterwards. Lord, we thank you for inviting us to partner with what you are doing in uh, Phnom Penh, Cambodia. Lord, we lift up every person our team will be minister ministering to and ask that hearts be like the good soil that receives and bears much fruit. Lord, we ask for hearts like the good soil to rise and receive the living word of God and be transformed. Lord, we declare that as they hear the word and accept it, they will bear fruit 30-fold, 60-fold, and 100-fold. We decree and declare that nothing shall snatch your word out of their hearts. We pray that your word will sink deep into their heart, plant it firmly, and bear much fruit. Lord, soften every heart and make them moldable. We ask that all of the old, futile ways of thinking be broken off and that they will hear clearly your word of life.
have been set free and have tasted your goodness, we declare that you are the way, the truth, the life for Phnom Penh, Cambodia. But we call forth the spirit of revelation to come upon the city, opening eyes and moving upon hearts to see who Jesus is. Father, reveal your son in Cambodia that they may know who he is and who they are. We declare that whom the sun sets free is free indeed. All numbing works of the enemy in their hearts shall be broken off and we will see people begin to feel, experience, and respond to your everlasting love. Lord, we cry out for all bound heart to be set free by the truth. Jesus, your redemptive work of the cross is changing hearts, setting people free. An ex explosion of praises and worship is rising up from their hearts, God. We love what you do, Lord. We believe in what only you can do. Set them free, Lord.
trust that you are awakening every heart. You're making all hearts to be ready to receive and to encounter the living God. Lord, we lift up our team to you as they go out to evangelize in the streets of Phnom Penh. We just ask, God, that your presence be thick in every street corners, God. And we believe, God, that your spirit is not bound by anything, Lord. There's no place on the earth that your spirit cannot go. So, Lord, we just ask for your presence to be thick in these streets, God. And we declare, Lord, your joy, peace, and love, and your fire be released through the dance performance and the word of God that is preached through Pastor Emily. Father, we release also the boldness Lord, to rise, God, to rise in our team, God. And we just ask for greater faith to rise in our team as well, Father. And we declare no more fear of men, God. We thank you, Lord, that they're not performing for the people or in the eyes of men, Father, but they're performing uh, in the audience of one, which is you, Jesus. And we believe that you're going to work through uh, the dance performance, moving hearts and opening hearts up, God. And we ask God for supernatural manifestation of your love through signs and wonders. We declare signs and wonders break out in Jesus' name. And we declare healing and restoration of the hearts and physical healing to break out as well, Lord. We believe in what you will do through this uh, street evangelism, bringing many to your kingdom, God.
Father, we thank you for uh, filling this place, God, filling our hearts with the desires that you have for the city, God, for Cambodia. Lord, we know that Lord, you are doing a new thing in the city. And we thank you for sending our team, God. We thank you for including us in your grand plan, Father, to release your spirit, release um, the fire, and reveal Jesus in the city. And Lord, we just uh, pray uh, for our team that uh, during the rest of the trip that they would experience even a greater measure of your love, God, in their hearts for the city, for Cambodia, God, that their hearts would be overwhelmed with the love and affection, God, that you have for the city. We thank you, Father, that you are renewing everything. That you're pouring out new grace over the city, God that where people have been numb to all the pain of the past, you are restoring life. You're restoring love. You're restoring hope. So Lord, we celebrate what you are doing right now. And we say yes and amen to all the good works that you have in store to release over Phnom Penh. Jesus, you are the banner over the city. You are the Lord and the king of the city, of this nation. Holy Spirit, we ask that you move through your fire and through the joy and peace that only comes from the Lord. Come down, Holy Spirit. We ask all these things in your precious Son's name, Jesus. Amen. Now we're going to go into a time of free prayer. Um, everyone minus the keyboardist, if you can get into groups of two or three and share your personal prayer topics uh, and pray for one another. And after you can pray on your own, uh, you can continue to pray for the missions team uh, that we're lifting up for uh, Phnom Penh, or you can pray for other um, topics yes. that are on your heart.
thank you so much for this morning. We thank you that as we look upon your face and as we ask, Lord God, to have more of you, to be able to feast on everything that you have for us today. Lord God, we find so much peace, so much confidence, so much freedom, Lord God, in knowing that there's so much that you want to give us of yourself today. Thank you, God, for everything you've been doing in our midst. We lift up, Lord God, our Cambodia team as they're doing work. We thank you, God, that your spirit indeed is moving, is blowing through the streets in Cambodia, awakening worshipers, Lord God, awakening lovers of your presence, awakening people, Lord God, that will be filled with your spirit and with the fire. We thank you, God, that that's a new thing, Lord God, that you are doing in the nation of Cambodia, and Lord God, we behold it. We behold the good work that you are doing there, Lord God, and we perceive it, knowing, God, that everything that you've done, Lord God, everything that you've done is for your glory and for your kingdom, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you for everything that you are, everything that you're doing in the nations, and we trust you, Lord God, with every day. We love you, Lord. We pray all these things in your precious name. Thank you guys for joining us today. Um, as you guys know, um, this week we have a total of six watches. I guess we are right at the midpoint. We are right at the midpoint of our intercessions this week. So tonight uh, at 8, from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., we have another watch. We're also going to be praying for Cambodia tonight. And we also have a watch tomorrow night and then Friday night as well. So join us for for as many as you can and intercede for our different teams that are out on the mission field. Thank you guys for coming.